Pressing Ctrl plus S by mistake while using Vim. If you press Ctrl plus S while using Vim would result with Vim to look like as if it is being locked slash stuck without you being able to make more changes unless you press Ctrl plus Q. Could someone explain what is happening and why? Hint, it might be something to do with the OS's terminal driver. Smile. Due to a negative initial perception from the community despite having hinted that this was nothing to do with Vim but some novice may search for a solution with regards to Vim anyway. I would add. This is a duplicate question to many questions, only seen from a different perspective. Answer that history of control S and control Q for flow control and what is the point of control S. More info about software flow control here. For remote hosts you can disable control S, soft, start slash stop signals. Does Control s actually stop the process on Terminal? I hope the updated question is much more useful. Well, it's no a Vim issue. This is called Software Flow Control. There is a bunch of info out there on the internet. According to an article in here, Control s is off is part of software flow control. Zoff notifies the process or device sending data that the input buffer is full and it shouldn't send any more data. The software outputting process, firmware, terminal etc. can choose how to handle the notification, i.e. keep running and buffer data, drop data, pause until SAN is received, etc. More info about software flow control here. Note. If you want to get the control of your terminal after you pressed Ctrl plus S, key combination, you can press Ctrl plus Q. I hope this helps. If you want to support the channel, please consider subscribing.